So I have to admit, the moment that I saw this close last week uh, during a sale on uh, greatcollections.com, I literally about fell out of my chair. I just couldn't believe it. This is a 1965 Roosevelt dime, obviously. It's a standard dated dime. However, it is a special mint set issue. It's much like what you would typically see uh, in a proof set or maybe a mint set, but as we all know, during 65, 66, and 67, they did not make any mint sets and they did not make any proof sets. But somehow, some way, due to popular demand, the US Mint had to produce some sort of specialty strike type set to help fulfill the collector market during those three years. Lo and behold, they made the special mint set. Now the special mint set is a, uh, is a combination of like a mint, mint set with like a business strike look to it and a proof set. It's, it's kind of weird, but at the same time it fulfills both needs. And this particular example is so fine and so unimaginably rare in this type. It's, it's the re very reason why it sold for $8,000. A few dollars shy of 8000 it was like 7900 and some odd dollars with the buyer's premium attached to it. But it's a lot of money for a dime. Now, what makes it special is why it sold for so much money. Aside from it being a high grade, uh, I believe this was an SP68 through PCGS, it also had the cameo contrast designation, which is a rarity among special mint set issues. This coin right here, as you can see, Roosevelt's profile is frosted out while you have nice darker fields. That's what really makes this coin rare and expensive. The cameo contrasted profile or the look really did not exist with any sort of success during the three-year uh, span of the special mint set issue. So that's why these things are so well sought out for registry sets and for those that collect you know, this type of coinage that doesn't even really exist except for this example, which I think there's maybe two or three of them in existence. And um, it's a phenomenal coin. But I have news for you guys. People don't give special mint sets a lot of credit because they, there's not a lot of fanfare. People wanted the mint set and the proof set, but instead they get a coin that's both. How does that all work? Well, there is a market for these today because of the limited availability of the cameo contrast coins. It kind of makes it a one-off treasure hunt style type of cherry pick opportunity for a lot of us and it's just gonna be a matter of going online going to a coin dealer because the coin do dealers a lot of them especially the ones that don't specialize in the graded coins field or arena will not pay any attention to cameo, cameo contrast on a lot of these special mint sets so this is where we come in as collectors that want to make a quick buck or two or 8,000, find a coin much like this condition with the frosty cameo contrast on all the devices, put that plus a grading service, put it together, find an auction house, sell it for quite a bit of money. Whether it's $500, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, these coins will sell because the cameo contrast is rare in all three years and across all of the denominations of coins. Now, I have great news. Right after this video, there's another video clip of me talking with my wood background, my backdrop on there, which is fantastic by the way. But I'm gonna show you guys how to find one of these. And I'm gonna tell you what, I found one that I'm gonna submit here pretty soon and let's see what happens. It's a great example of what you're looking for in person compared to the set that you do pick up. You wanna know exactly what the coin looks like, guys. And I have a proven method 
of showing you how to find the cameo contrast coins in these sets. Sometimes it can be a little bit deceiving, but I'm going to show you in a quick little tutorial so you guys stay tuned. Right after this video, we're going to talk more about this. So in 65, 66, and 67, like I've mentioned in a few videos uh, in the past, the Mint didn't produce any sort of Mint sets or proof sets during that time. What they made were special Mint sets. Kind of think of it as a morphing of the two. These sets is what's going to house those extra special type coins. And I'm going to give you a general idea of what we're looking for in a set of this caliber much like that 66 dime that sold for seven eight thousand dollars so here's a special mint set as you can see one coin is missing from let me go ahead and uh, adjust the lighting here for us so that's what a typical special mint set coin looks like it's a combination of a business strike look of a mint set and it also has some mirrored characteristics much like a proof set coin would have or exhibit now the coin that sold during the great collections auction uh, last week exhibits what they call a cameo appearance now on a proof coin it's much easier to um, discern that type of designation on there now the very reason why that this half dollar is missing is I found a pretty nice example of what you should be looking for in terms of the cameo appearance of one of these special mint set coins. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. These other coins, the quarter to the penny, don't have any cameo to them. Now here is that half dollar. All right. And the big thing with this coin is you have a nice frosty devices this isn't probably quite up to the standard of the dime now if, if I set it like this so that way the lights a little bit different and you don't have the flow lines or that luster you're gonna have a better idea of what a cameo should look like as you can see the field area of the coin, which is going to be the flat areas around the devices, are going to have a mirrored appearance. All right. So if you see the, the tip of my mechanical pencil here, you could see in the coin's reflective fields a mirror image of my pencil all the way across where it's uh let me go ahead and take it out of this holder because I, I think the plastic of the two by two is obscuring it a little bit there you go it's much better so if i hold it like this so the lighting is a little bit different and i took my pen and put it right in front of it as you can see there's a really nice mirrored appearance to it if I go all the way through, you see where the flat fields are? That should be really nice and mirrored. Now take a look at the devices, especially Kennedy's profile. Notice how the pencil becomes very blurry at that point. The Kennedy profile has a cameo contrast on it, and that would explain why you cannot see a really good reflection of this mechanical pencil going through the entire coin now in the mirrored area areas the flat fields right here that's where you're gonna have your mirrored look so this is the best example of a cameo contrast coin in a special mint set if I took my original special mint set that I pulled the half dollar from as you could see, if I did the same deal right here with the pencil, 
Okay. See how it's reflective on Washington's profile? See on that cheek right there? That is not a Cameo Contrast coin right there. That's just a regular special mint set coin that's probably worth about $2. So that's what made that 1966 dime so special. Cameo contrasted coins in the special mint set sets are really tough to come by. During that time, the mint really didn't do a very good job at maintaining the dies to uphold a really nice frosty look on some of the coins. That wasn't their original intention. Their intention was to make a set or a product that looked very much like what you see here and nothing else. So the mere fact that coins exist of this caliber with the frosty devices and features is really a huge high point for a lot of collectors who like to cherry pick. You find coins like this, you're gonna make a nice real good payday out of it. Much like the individual that sold the 66 dime all right so i want to thank you guys for joining this is blue ridge silverhound your host for today and um yeah be on the lookout for these type of coins these are plentiful especially at dealers take a look at these find and buy as many as you can because these have a tremendous secondary market and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and uh, if you like my wood background, I know I've been getting a lot of uh, ribbing from some people about, hey, you know, it looks like the 80s. And, you know, my grandpa had that in his cabin. Um, I think it's a pleasing look, uh, to be absolutely honest. And if you guys want me to change it up, you know, put a black sheet of paper or whatever the case may be, um, I'll do that for you. But to me, I think it, the natural look is in. Not really, but... Um, there's nothing wrong with that kind of uh, backdrop. Again, it was a pleasure. Um, hope you guys find what you're looking for in coin collecting. And I look forward to talking more about it with you. You guys have a fantastic evening. Enjoy your weekend.